Today's episode is so freaking good. We're sitting down with my girl, Sarah. Sarah was on the podcast about this time last year, and she is just so knowledgeable when it comes to wellness practices. And I think it stems from the fact that she made these changes in her own life out of need and just wanting to better her life and her family's life. And it really shows how much research she's done. She has Oh, I just, I love this girl so much. You guys are going to learn so much. We're going over red light therapy. We're going over mindful movement. We are going over perfect wellness days, supplements. I mean, water. We were talking about water today and blew my mind. Okay. You guys are going to love this episode. So much knowledge and check out the show notes already because her website has so many resources for you and we're going to dive into all of them. So let's jump in. So you've been on the podcast before, you know, the drill, know the drill. what I'm ready. are you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually like a three cups girly. Like I've always got three different things happening. So I already had my King coffee. Um, that's like the first thing I do. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but I already had my coffee for the day. And so today right now is greens and beets. So that's uh, helping with circulus, circulatory system. So that's what's in here, greens and beets. And then in this one, I have my Kangen water, which is one of my favorite health tools. And it's just alkalized water, but it's also structured and ionized and filtered. So just really, really good, pure water. So do you have a filter at home that does that? Or I do. How do you get it's that a, water? Okay. It's a machine. It's called an ionizer. And it sits on my kitchen counter. I also, it, I work for a wellness center where we have a machine. And if people come in and they're like, I love this water so much. I've been buying the water from you. I want to buy a, a machine for my own home. I'm the person that gets them set up with their machines. So wow. it's a, it's like, it's, I don't know about that big. And it just has these metal plates that charges the water and it structures it so that you're absorbing so much more of the hydration. Some people call it hydrogen water. But the one thing I want to say about it is I like to tell people to picture a chain link fence. And then you're trying to shove a softball through the chain link fence and it doesn't fit. But if you were to throw marbles, those would go through the chain link fence, right? So the chain, the holes in the fence represent the cells in our body. And when we drink tap water, that's like shoving a softball and our cells are not absorbing that hydrogen. So the Kangen water machine structures the water so that we can absorb more. We get heals and hydrogen at a cellular level. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. So wait, so I drink electrolytes. That's actually funny. I'm drinking electrolytes Mm -hmm. right now. Is that going to give me same benefits or is that totally different? It's totally different. You're going to get great. Like what are you drinking? Element? Yeah. (laughs) Okay. I've heard great things. A lot of the other biohackers that I hang out with, they swear by it. I just haven't gotten around to it because I invested in this machine that's supposed to be giving me electrolytes that are naturally sourced. So I'm definitely pro element because it's a lot more affordable than purchasing an ionizer. It is an investment, um, but it does so much to the water. It's more than just electrolytes. Well, and you have to keep buying the electrolytes. You have to have them like you've got to mix them in and stuff like that. Where versus like this, like you just the water 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 from it. It's a life. I think it's a lifetime warranty or 25 years which oh gosh, I mean, well. 25 years is a long time. <laughs> I have 25 years stuck in my head for something, whether that's for the warranty or how long the machine's supposed to last. I'm not sure, but a long time. You only buy one machine for the rest of your life and you're, yeah. you're set. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Okay. Well, yeah. now you guys know why we had to have her back on the podcast because thank <laughs> you. It's been, you know, two minutes and my mind's blown. Um, okay. But I want to start off by asking you because you have okay. so much knowledge. What is one thing that you wish everyone in the world would do for their well-being like one yeah just one thing i definitely would give you guys a free option and then maybe a a not free option but for sure mindfulness which has always been one of my passions is showing people how you can be mindful a lot of people don't have don't understand that they have access to this tool right in their brains so being mindful is just about being aware it's just noticing like how am i breathing today what are my thoughts like today what are um what are my habits like? Are you being mindful about your habits? And the reason I love mindfulness is because it fits into the mind, the body, and the spirit, which are my three focuses in my ministry that I'm creating. It's all about showing people that when you heal one way, you can heal the other way. And so if you're mindful physically, mentally, spiritually, you're going to feel good, whether you're sick or healing, or you're, you feel like you're already thriving. Like why not get better, like even better mindfulness for sure. 
And then if you can afford it, my non-negotiable would be my infrared sauna that I have. I don't know if you can see it over here. It's, um, it's the kind that you like sit in all the way, or you can poke your head out, but that would be like, if you can afford that, that's a everyday wellness hack for myself. So two, two options, okay, I even so though you said excited. one, one's free. <laughs> No, no, I love it. I love it. Um, I'm so excited because one of my main things I wanted to talk to you about today was actually the red light therapy yep. benefits. Yep. Um, so let's actually jump to that because perfect. I have heard so much about this and I, I, I'm tentative about some things because I never want to jump on trends in wellness necessarily right. because that can cause damage. And also I feel like they're not as sustainable long-term, um, yep. but you have done red light therapy for a while and yep. consistently and yeah. so tell me about this and just give me your whole spiel on it. <laughs> okay. So technically there's two different things. There's infrared sauna and then there's red light therapy. What's really cool about the sauna that I have is that it has both inside of the sauna. Some saunas don't have that. So when you're researching, what do you want? You need to look at, um, what are you willing to pay for? For me, I wanted the red light because the benefits of red light are skin therapy, which if anyone's been following my journey, like my skin was a big part of my healing journey was I had all this acne and then I had all this pigmentation after I healed and the red light is great for skin rejuvenation. So whereas infrared is more like detox, it's more like you're sweating so much that you're releasing toxins. It helps with mood. It helps with recovery. Infrared also does help with depression symptoms. So the two have that in common. But for me, when I was researching, like, where do I want to spend my money for my health? Because it is an investment. It made sense to get the all in one. It's far infrared, near infrared, which are just two different frequencies. The cells in your body absorb different types of frequencies. But with my sauna, I have all of it. I have the infrared, both far and near. And then I have the red light therapy it has removable panels. So I can literally like take the panels off of the sauna and hold it against my chest. If I feel like I need some lung support or on my gut, if I need some gut support, um, head, if you've got a headache, it's basically cellular healing. So it's That's like, a, it, it fits all, if that makes any sense, the red light. Right. Okay. So for the, the sauna, then that your home one, what does that yep. consist of? What do you do? What's your routine with that? Yeah. So I do that every day, um, maybe four to five times a week. It depends on what my week looks like, but most of the time I wake up really early before my kids, I get my King coffee going, I get my sauna hot. Sometimes I get in when it's not hot and I allow my body temperature to rise with the sauna temperature. It's about 140 degrees. It doesn't feel like when you step outside a Texas summer day, it's a different type of heat. People are like, like in the middle of the summer, they're like, I don't want to get in the sauna. I'm like, it feels different. So I get in the sauna. I typically drink my hot coffee while I'm in there. I'll do my devotional while I'm in there. And then I'll take one. It has two red light panels and I'll take one off and let it rest either on my belly or my chest. Sometimes I even hold like my cheek up to it. And that's, um, sometimes I read my devotional. And then after that, I'll film what I call a sauna share, which is just something I have on my YouTube channel. And it's just me sharing my heart. Cause the sauna is like, it's my worship tent. Like that's just where I go. And I, I hole up with God. And I don't know if you can see this little chair right here, mm -hmm. that sauna came with that chair. And so you can actually put your head out of the sauna. You can sit in the chair. And so from here down is inside of that little white tent right there. Yeah. But what I do is I, I take the chair out, I zip it up all the way and I sit down on the ground. So I'm consumed in near, near, um, infrared technology, far infrared technology and red light therapy. Wow. And how long are you doing that for? Oh, I didn't say that. Sorry. 30 minutes. No, you're good. Okay. Yeah, so 30 about minutes. 30 minutes a day. Yeah. So, okay. Are your kids doing this too? Or is there an age limit? Does your husband do this? My husband does it not as often as I'd like him to, but like every now and then, cause this is portable. So I can pull it into the living room and we'll have a family day and we'll just take turns getting in the sauna. Yeah. Um, but we don't do that as often just cause mm -hmm. he's like a man and stubborn. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> but I do put my kids in there. I'm very careful with them. And, and I would like to just kind of give a little warning here. Like I'm not a doctor. I cannot tell you like what's safe for you. my kids might not be safe for your kids. But for me, I researched the heck out of this. Um, my son is, has been sick off and on his whole life. He's only two. 
And one of the things that drove me like deeper into wellness was his recovery journey. And so what I did was I started him, what I tell everybody who's looking to start wellness, start low and start slow. Okay. You're, you're not throwing the kitchen sink at anybody, right? You're starting with baby steps. So for him, it was 10 minutes at a hundred degrees which is like nothing. I mean, compared mm -hmm. to the 140 that I do for myself. Mm -hmm. And then I worked him up to like 11 minutes the next day and then 12 minutes. So he does it maybe twice a week. Yeah, He doesn't do it as consistently. He doesn't need it, but his body is burdened with toxins. Mm -hmm. Ironically, um, if people don't know this, when you are pregnant, your fetus works like a mop. So if you mm -hmm. haven't detoxed before you get pregnant, your fetus inside of your belly will absorb toxins. So for me, I wasn't expecting to get pregnant when I got pregnant with my son. I hadn't detoxed in a while. I actually had COVID when I conceived my son yeah. <laughs> and got COVID again a year later when he was three months old. So he had a heavy toxic mm -hmm. load in his little itty bitty body. And that caused issues like allergies, like eczema. We thought he had autoimmune for a while. So the sauna has been amazing for him. He's doing so good. The Kongen machine was another investment that I did really for him. Um, but yeah, I think putting the kids in the sauna is no trouble at all as long as you're smart about it. Okay. So for all the people who are super invested in this now, do you have a link to that sauna that we can put in the show notes? So if people want to grab it's it. It's on my website. Hand. Yep. Great. Yep. Okay. On my so website, website, I have a page. Yeah. It's um, just my name, Sarah Nicole Tynan. Yep. Yep. And that will definitely be linked in the show notes. So you guys can check that out. So kind of sticking along with this then. So what are some supplements then that you're using that are in your toolbox, either daily or weekly? What does that look like for you? Um, supplements were one of my biggest expenses when I first started a wellness, started to get into wellness. And my, both my mom and my husband called me out and they were like, you're obsessing. You're spending so much money. Are you even like, does it even matter? And I, it was a good reality check because I was, I was just doing this. I was just like, I'm going to be the healthiest person alive. And they were like, are you though? And it was a good reality check for like balance. And so I did some research. I found a company that I really like. And what's cool is they had a, um, what's it called? Like a quiz where you enter all the information and they were like, we're going to give you exactly what you need and nothing more. And so I have this, I did the quiz and they were like, okay, here's what you need. We're going to make custom nutrition just for you. It's got your name on it. Mm -hmm. And so, um, it's really cool. Cause it came in this little box and then you pull out what you need. And I remember wow. seeing people do like personalized nutrition. I was like, oh, that's going to be so expensive. I can't afford that. This, I don't remember what I spent, but I remember thinking for what all I'm getting, that's incredible. And it's really cool. Cause it has my name on it. It'll have like a little affirmation. So wow. I just have a packet for the morning and a packet for the evening. And then in my book, it tells me everything that I personally need. I am very big into bio-individuality. Are you familiar with that term? No, I'm not. Let's get into it. <laughs> it's like every body is different. Like God made us all so unique. And what supplements I take are not the supplements that Belle needs to take, right? Mm -hmm. So I really like doing things like personalization. So for me, I'm taking something for my lymph system, which is just kind of helping to flush out toxins. I struggle with holding on to toxins. Um, I have a gene mutation that makes it really hard to detox. So my lymph system, which is like the sewage system of the body, takes out the trash, needs a little boost. So one of my supplements is a lymphatic drainage supplement. Ashwagandha for stress, for immune system. You hear these like trends all the time, like you were talking about, and people just jump on board. And I'm like, hold on, stop, do your research, know yourself enough. That's where mindfulness comes in to know what you actually need. So taking the time to fill out this quiz was really helpful. I also take milk thistle for my liver, always need liver support. I take a supplement called X action because let's be real honest, after having kids, that libido went straight in the toilet. Yeah. So that really is just for my husband. You're welcome, babe. And then <laughs> omegas, <laughs> gotta have some omegas and then um, a probiotic. So that's all I take every day besides a couple like my beets and my greens, which are giving me all the extra nutrition. Wow. That's awesome. Do you do anything for protein or is that all derived from? Oh your yeah. <laughs> no, I do a lot of protein. Actually. I've, that's been my biggest research lately is I'm aiming for about 120 grams of protein a day, which sounds insane, 
but I eat a lot of meat. I am an O blood type and O mm -hmm. blood types do better with things like beef and um, like game, like wild foods. So I eat a lot of meat. Um, I do take a couple of protein powders, nothing like that. I'm like, oh, I love this protein powder. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like dabbling a little bit, um, but I like, I like to do collagen, um, which has some protein. Um, and then I just watch, I watch how much cal not calories, um, carbohydrates, fiber. I pay attention to macros. I don't have a yeah. specific system, but I do watch my protein for sure. Yeah. That's been one of the big things for me lately is trying to get more into the protein intake because for so long it was like, oh, you only ate protein if you wanted to grow your muscles. And I feel like that was kind of like preached over us. But then as yeah. I studied it more, I was like, no, like my brain needs protein to function. And my gosh, like how important that is. And all of the systems in your body and everything and muscles are important. So yes, yeah. your muscles need protein, but they yes. need to grow and that's good for you. Um, yeah. So that's been huge for me. My, you know, we were counting out, I was getting like 20 grams of protein a day and I'm not even joking because I was not a meat eater. And I was, I was like, why do I feel so weak? Why do I feel so tired? Yeah. Um, so I've been working on that a lot. And then also I love doing, I, so I did something similar. I did the care of vitamins. Um, you take the yeah. quiz and you get your vitamin supplements. So I do that one. Um, and Perfect. I love it so much too. Yeah. Um, but the one that you do, what is the name of it? It's called nature sunshine. And that yeah. is on my, on my website. It has, it says wellness assessment. And what's really cool is you don't have to get these supplements. Like I believe in them. I believe they are truly backed well, but what's cool about when you do that assessment is that it gives you tips and tricks outside of your supplements. Right. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And that, and I love that so much. And you know, I've, I've gotten advice before where they're like, oh, you have to be careful with supplements because of your daily intake of what you're eating also has yes. that. But I also feel like usually what we're eating is not actually that good for us in America specifically at what you're right, getting because in the of the soil. Store. Yep. Yes, exactly. And I've been down that rabbit hole a ton too. So it's crazy. I just, it's insane. It's so And you pee insane. out so much nutrition. Like you're a lot of, especially with vitamins and if you're not drinking the right water, you're not absorbing the nutrition. You're peeing all of that out. So people That's spend insane. all this money on supplements and then they're like not actually consuming. They're not, um, what do you call it? Maintaining, like they're not absorbing wow. that. That's why water wow. is so important too. Yeah. And I can see why that is so big for you guys now. And, and yeah. listen, I'm having a conversation with my husband after this. <laughs> I'm going to be hey, like, listen, we need type? to get this water filter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a type yeah. A positive. Okay. So, um, a lot of plants, a lot of, I think seafood is better for you. So that's one of the okay. other tools that I really like for bioindividuality is just looking at the blood type and going, what typically does your blood type thrive with? Wow. That's so interesting. So, O, you said is a lot of like gamey food, like meats and stuff like that. Yep. So I'm going to be more plant and fish. What about like B? B needs to avoid chicken. And that oh, is usually a mind blowing, but game changing fact. We'll have people that will come um, to the wellness center where I work and they'll be, we'll do their blood test. We'll find out they're a B and they'll remove chicken from their diet and like their health problems vanish. Oh <laughs> it's kind gosh. of funny to think about, but people don't know. And it's, it doesn't work for everyone. And it's not a weight right. loss thing. It's like a, a wellness thing. Like if God yeah. made your body a specific way, why not nourish your body the way that it's meant to be fed? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That is fascinating. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay. So something that you talk about a lot on social media, which by the way, love following you on social media. You always Thank give you. so many good tips and it's just so good. Um, but you've been talking about mindful movement. So I know this probably plays a lot into mindfulness that you talked about as the wellness tip for all people that is free, but yeah. can we get into this a little bit? What yeah. is mindful movement? For sure. Oh my gosh. This is like the accumulation of the past five years of this like journey that I've been on. So it's a very loose term. It can go any direction you want it to go. Like mindfulness is just being aware and movement is literally anything. So I was a yoga teacher for four, three or four years, four years. And I loved it. And then in March, the studio where I was mainly teaching, we decided to shut it down. And I was like, uh, rude, you called me to this journey. And now 
now you're telling me to stop. I was like, literally, I had a yelling match between me and God. And I, I knew he was saying like, I need you to either stop or pause what you're doing. And I was like, okay, well, I'm kind of bothered by that. And he was like, trust me. I was like, okay. And all summer long, I did not do any, like I didn't pursue any entrepreneurship. And then the end of the summer rolls around and I was just getting this like itch where I just wanted to use my talents to help people. And so this thing kind of fell into my lap where I was like, why not combine all these things that I've learned over the years? I'm a mindfulness coach. I'm a life coach. I'm a meditation coach. I'm a great yoga teacher. And I love going to dance class. I love taking Zumba. I love lifting weights. Like I love movement. And I just combined it all. And I created this workshop that just teaches people. It's more about education than it is the movement. And what I want to do is educate people to find their form of movement. Um, I really like interpretive dance and I really like yoga. So a lot of the days that I'm home and have time, I'll turn on some worship music and I'll kind of just do this like flow where I'm just listening to my breath. I'm listening to my body. I'm opening up to God and I'm just moving in a way of worshiping him. And then I'm sitting still, which is where like the mindfulness plays into it. But there's no black and white. There's no right or wrong. It's breath. It's body. It's your soul. It, it can be anything. So I I didn't really answer the question, but there's no right or wrong and there's no black or white with this. Yeah, that's so interesting. So is there anything that you can point to looking back in your life of like, this is what made me love movement? Because I feel like yeah, a oh, lot point. of people struggle with finding movement that they love or just knowing what their body can do and what it can't do or shouldn't do and all that. So what did that look like for you? Ooh, are you ready for this? This is a loaded question, but it's good. Um, when I was 20, I tried to take my life and I came, I dropped out of college, went to a mental institution, was like, I don't want this life. I don't want to do this ever again. I don't want to, I don't want to have this suicidal thought ever again. I want to turn my life around. What do I do? And I moved back in with my parents. And one of the things my dad pointed out was like how I've gotten, he didn't use the word lazy, but like all through high school, I was on drill team. So I was always dancing through high school. And he was like, why don't I get you a membership to the local rec center? And I was like, okay, whatever. And so I started going to the gym with my dad. And then my mom and I would go on walks at the local winery out in nature. And then I started practicing yoga in my home on YouTube. And so I'm like lifting weights. I'm doing yoga. I'm going on walks. I'm just moving with no consistent like theme or anything. I'm just moving my body more. I started paying a little attention to the caffeine intake, to the alcohol, to the food. And uh, long story short, I got off all of the medications I was on for, at that point, it had been 10 years of medication that I relied on for my mental health, for sleeping. And I haven't had a, a prescription pill for my mind or my sleep in 12 years now. And it's because I've maintained some sort of movement whether that's lifting weights, going to a hot yoga class, taking a dance class, spinning around the house with my kids. Like I just, every time I move my body, I feel good. Even the days that I'm like, I've had like a down day, a depressed day. I'll just like do a very simple, like just a little stretch, but I do it with breath. So like inhale, reach up, exhale, roll your shoulders back. That simple, simple, simple. And it just, it feels like I can just move out the negative energy, the bad emotions from my body, which the word emotion in English, we get it from the Latin word, e air. And that word alone has the word move inside of it, e air, which means to dislodge or to move out. So if you think about the emotions, they get stuck in the body. When you move your body, you're releasing pent up emotions. Wow. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that. And it's so beautiful because, you know, Sarah, we're we're friends in real life. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's so sweet. And to just see how you love life now and how much you honor 
life like truthfully that's what this wellness is is it's you taking life and choosing to you know want to glorify god through everything and live it to your best ability and to see that it's such a far cry from what your story was so long ago and i know that journey has been hard and long and there have been ups and downs but it is so encouraging and ultimately inspiring to see where (laughs) you are now and how you steward the gift of life so diligently and I just, I just want to encourage you with that because it's so, it's so inspiring. It really is, Sarah. Thank you. It's ironic because my new brand that I've just built after I got away from yoga was wellness encourager. And that's just yeah. what I want to do. Yeah. There's this quote that says wellness is health for the greedy. You mm-hmm. don't just want to not be sick. You want to be well. And it's true. Once I got over my suicidal ideation, I loved life. I fell in love with life. And I was like, I got 10 I got more than 10. I got 20 years of hating life. I want to, I want to like make up for it. So I am so hungry for life. And that's why wellness is so important to me. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. So this is kind of a fun question that I would love to know your perfect wellness day. Okay. So there's no interruptions. There's no chaos around you. Nothing is happening except what you want. So virtually impossible. Oh, I know. But what does that look like for you? What is your perfect wellness day? That's another good question. I definitely get a, a little bit of, of what I'm about to say with the ideal day. I make a little bit of it happen every single day. That's why I get up at 4 a.m., which I know is not doable for everyone. I don't do it every day. But because what I'm about to say with my ideal day, it's so important to me. It sets me up to serve my children well, my husband well, my job well. I make a priority to make at least a fourth of my day, the ideal wellness day. So what I already do is what I call King with the King. So one of my, the coffee that I drink is mushroom coffee and it's called King. And so I'll make my mushroom coffee and then I'll get in my sauna and I'll read my devotional. So I'm spending time with my King while I drink my King coffee. Um, I already do that every day, but that's definitely a part of an ideal day. And then I would do cryotherapy, whether that's getting into a cryo chamber, which I have at my work, or getting into a cold shower, because you're finishing off with, after the heat, you do the cold, which is contrast therapy, which helps with the dilation of the blood vessels, which helps with oxygen. Okay, so we had king with the king, we had sauna, we had cryotherapy, and then probably like the shake plate, which is just like a little plate that you stand on and it shakes, and that helps with lymphatic drainage, or compression, which on my dream day, definitely getting a massage because the massage is relaxing as it is. It's also very good for your body because you think about they're breaking up stuff that's been tense and tight. Some of that is emotion. Some of that is like spiritual blockages, even like stuff that you haven't like talked about or thought about our body holds onto that. So a massage for sure. And then finish that up with a facial because aesthetics are just important as therapeutics. So got to throw that in there. And then obviously some yoga. I would do like a gentle yoga class with some scripture being read for the meditation. And then this sounds really cheesy, but I'm dead serious. I need some family time with my kids Mm -hmm. and my husband because that is restorative to my soul. I mean, ideally my kids wouldn't be screaming and my son wouldn't be scratching and my daughter wouldn't have her sassy attitude. And I mean, my husband's perfect, so nothing to change there. But I like that time with the three, the three of them with me is like, it restores my soul. And it is where I feel like God is like, I'm here for you. And I've showed up for you. And I've blessed you. So you're welcome. And I'm able to be like, yes, thank you, God. Like, it's just, that's the perfect day. I love it. That's so amazing. So kind of going off of some of those things. Okay. So yeah, Obviously, we all wish we had endless time. We all wish we had that endless budget, Um, but we don't. (laughs) And it's a bummer, but it's the reality. So what are some of your favorite tips for Mm -hmm. people who are at home right now? And they're like, you know what? This all sounds amazing. I'm not in a place to invest with for the water machine or maybe the sauna. So what are some things people can do at home to maybe take it to the next level? I got a whole list and I, I, I was very intentional with this list because I remember when I first found biohacking, I was like, well, I can't just buy one. I have to buy them all. Mm-hmm. And a shake plates, you know, a hundred dollars and a sauna is like a thousand dollars and the yeah. water machines like $3,000. And I was like, I don't have, I ran out of money. Yeah. And, and I, like, I had to stop myself because I did, like I got into debt. I've paid it all off. I busted my butt to pay it off. I'm not in debt anymore, but I was like, there's gotta be some things out there that don't cost an arm and a leg just mm-hmm. to feel good. So 
this is what I've compiled. You've got the sunshine. A lot of people don't realize the sun is so good for you. It's got a bad rap from people getting skin cancer for years. But what's really cool about the sun is if you are outside with unfiltered, meaning no sunglasses, as cute as some of those sunglasses are, they block a certain frequency that the sun emits. It's like a certain type of ray that tells your body, I need vitamin D. I'm going to start creating that inside of my body. So sunshine without sunglasses. I just saved you even more money because you don't need to go buy some cute sunglasses. So get outside, get some fresh sunshine. Also the chest, um, absorbing sun on your bare chest is really, really good. Um, the best time of sunshine is from, I want to say like 8.30 to 10.30 in the morning, obviously. Uh, sunshine, okay? okay? Um, and then walking. <laughs> good, good, good. This is a good one. This is a great question because there's so many people who can't, they're like, I can't invest in my health, but I need to get healthy. Yeah. What do I do? So yeah. sunshine, nature, this is so corny, but there is scientific studies that prove touching nature, like hugging a tree. I know that sounds hippy dippy, but they have done studies that show when you get skin to skin with mother earth or, you know, with nature, like there's restoration in that. And you think about Adam and Eve before sin. What did God create? He created, mm -hmm. they were bare naked, but naked. They were in nature. They were in charge of the plants. And you think about, they were like infused in nature and they were healthy and gorgeous. Um, and then they sinned, but that's a whole nother story. So nature, breath work, which does not have to be fancy. You don't need to go drop $3,000 on a breath work course. I tried, I almost did it. I looked into it. And I was like, no, I can figure out how to breathe for free. So there's different breath hacks you can do. That's a YouTube I've, I've got to create because there's so many good <laughs> breath hacks. But just be it. mindful. I'm breathing in, I'm breathing out. That's very simple. And that's another mindfulness tip, just breath. Mm -hmm. um, stretching, you don't have to have a certified yoga teacher to sit there and go, I'm going to reach up and stretch out of my body. I'm going to bend to a side. Oh, that feels good on my ribs. I'm going to bend to the other side. Oh, now I'm balanced. Simple, mm -hmm. free which I do have a YouTube. I don't post anymore, but I have some old yoga. I don't want to say old. I just haven't created new content for, for my YouTube for yoga, but I do have stuff on my YouTube. That's um, from the past. I filmed a ton of my classes. So there's always, and you can even like go on YouTube and search a specific type of yoga you want. There's prayer, which I always do with my yoga. You can pray. I know not everyone is a Christ believer. For me, that is one of my biggest non-negotiables for my wellness. I don't think that I would have been healed mentally if I wasn't also healed spiritually. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't a one and done thing. Like God did a bunch of stuff about two years ago, even though I believed my whole life, he showed up in bigger ways that helped me with my wellness. So definitely some sort of faith some sort of prayer. Mm -hmm. And then the blood type diet doesn't cost, and it's not even the diet, it's the blood type lifestyle because it's more than just what you eat. But if you can find out your blood type and you can look up, there's a couple of books, there's called Eat Right, Live Right, Live Right for Your Blood Type. But you can look up like if I'm an O positive or I'm, I'm O negative actually, but I'm just an O in general. I need more aggressive workouts so whereas an A, you're probably better with like gentle yoga. That's mm -hmm. your body doesn't crave that typically, according to the research, A's don't typically need like high intensity, aggressive, like CrossFit, whereas O's do. So looking into your blood type, figuring out your lifestyle from there, um, that's free. And then like Pinterest is the best ever for little like tips and tricks. I mean, I go on there all the time when I need inspiration, like, what am I going to eat today? Oh, wow. That salad looks good. That was mm. all over the place. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. And those were all like, literally you could get off this podcast right now and you could go do that. And it's so yeah. simple and so easy. And I feel like sometimes wellness does feel like, oh, if I'm going to do it to do it well, I need to invest thousands upon thousands of dollars and all this endless time. Like there's this billionaire right now who's like injecting himself with like his son's plasma. Pe peptides. And... Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. All this, oh my gosh, he's insane. He's insane. Yeah. He's like in his fifties and he looks like he's 20, but he has billions of dollars and this is all right. he does with it. And so yeah. you look at that and you're like, 
oh, I can't do wellness. Like <laughs> it's impossible for me. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's not. And I love all of those tips that you gave. So the last thing I really want to talk to you about today, um, you relaunched your book and I, I <laughs> am so excited about it. So where, what is that like? What, is, what was, give me the whole process of the book and then yeah. where people can find it. Absolutely. Uh, it is on Amazon. I wrote a book when I was pregnant with my son and I was determined to finish it before I had him. And I did. Um, and then I was like, I really rushed through that. And God was like, yeah. And I wasn't even done writing your story. And I was like, oh snap. And so I didn't add a lot to the book because I, I think it's just going to be a second book at some point in time. But I did go back and make a couple of changes and like little edits. I added an author's note. I wrote out a prayer for the readers. I added a devotional, which I'm really excited about. I took everything in the book and kind of applied it. I took like scripture and then asked some questions to help the reader grow. Because what my whole message is with my book is all of these storms or trials that I went through, I had to go through so that I could receive my rainbow and really revel in that blessing that the Lord gave me. And I, it, it's basically just my testimony and it's literally called so that, yeah. and, uh, I put a new cover on it, which I put myself on the cover because it is, it's my story. It's, it's just my testimony and what God did through the storms in my life. And I'm oh. really, really proud of it. I love it. That's amazing. And such a good read. And I'm so excited and guys, seriously, all of the things that we've talked about today will be in the show notes. Check out her website. It is a wealth of information, all of the things, your YouTube channel, incredible. I love the yoga. And I know you said that they're like older, but they're still so relevant. And also I'm a person yeah. that likes to go back and redo workouts that I love. Um, yes. so big fan. <laughs> All of it's on the website. Every little yes. thing we talked about today can be yep. found on my website. Yep. So that's going to be a great tool for you guys. Sarah, thank you so much. I love you so much. And I'm just so you. honored <laughs> to know you. <laughs> same. Seriously, same.